Hey guys, welcome to Des Logic. This is the 20th video of the playlist that I've created for you guys on Adobe Illustrator for iPad. If you haven't checked out the previous videos, I will put the links in the description. You can check them out. So without further ado, let's get started. So guys, in this video, I will try to explain the repeat option that is available in the panel section of your application. So let's tap on that. So guys, as you can see, there are three options. Uh, first one is radial, second one is grid, third one is mirror. So let's start with the radial repeat. For example, let's select a triangle shape. Tap on the small circle so we can make a constrained triangle like that and maybe change the color to maybe orange like that. Disable this one. So guys, as you can see, we have a triangle and now tap on the radial repeat option like that. Let's make it in a center. And you, as you can see, we have multiple triangles um, repeated in a circular pattern. And you can also increase and decrease the number of triangles in this pattern like that. You can also change the angle of this triangle by dragging left to right and if you drag upward or downward it will increase the space between these triangles so it's a very creative option you can create multiple shapes with this just one click So the second option is the grid repeat. So for this, create a triangle like that. And place it like this. And now tap on this grid repeat option. So guys, as you can see, uh, the triangle is now duplicated uh, in a linear kind of pattern. And um, you can also change the visibility from left to right and top to bottom. You can also increase and decrease the spaces between these triangles. So the next option is the mirror repeat. So whatever you will draw on the left side will be duplicated or mirrored on the right side. So for example, let's create a shape like that and place it maybe like here. And now tap on this mirror repeat and as you can see, this circle on the right side is the mirror image of the circle on the left side. And uh, whatever you will draw on the left side will be shown and mirrored on the right side. So let's draw anything like that. And as you can see, what we have drawn on the left side is mirrored on the right side at the same time. So it's really handy. It also saves a lot of time. If you have 
a complex project. So like select them and you can see both these are acting like a single shape. And also if you want to edit the shapes that you have created on the left side later in your uh, you know designing process you can double tap anywhere like that and you can edit these shapes as per your need so that's it for today guys uh, i hope you like this video please make sure you subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next one